Welcome to the third section of the course. This section is called Working with Pathfinding. In the previous section, we saw how to use searching algorithms in our graphs. We implemented breadth-first search and depth-first search and compared them to each other, and we saw how we could use searching to find the solution to a simple puzzle game. In this section, we will be using algorithms for pathfinding and graphs. We will define what we mean by a shortest path, and we will see which properties the shortest path has. We will learn a new algorithm called Dijkstra's algorithm, which can find shortest paths in weighted, directed graphs. We will implement Dijkstra's algorithm and see how it compares to breadth-first search and depth-first search on graphs. Then we will talk about how we can represent grids and mazes with graphs, and we will modify our algorithms so they work on grids. This video is called, What is a shortest path? In this video, we will define what we mean when we talk about a shortest path. We will see what properties a shortest path has, and we will discuss what a shortest path means in a weighted graph. The shortest path is quite simply the shortest path between two vertices in a graph. We define the weight of a path as the sum of the weights of the edges in the path. With this, we can define the length of a shortest path from vertex u to vertex v as a minimizing function, where we wish to find the path from u to v with lowest weight, or if a path doesn't exist between u and v, we set the length to be infinite. As there might be several paths from u to v, we specify here that we want the path with the lowest combined edge weight. That is our definition of a shortest path. Note that for unweighted graphs where all edges have weight 1, the shortest path is equal to the path with the fewest vertices. One of the first properties we realize of a shortest path is that a shortest path exhibits optimal substructure. This means that a shortest path between two vertices contains other shortest paths within it, and that a shortest path can be broken down into the smallest shortest path, which are the edges between vertices. To prove that a shortest path has optimal substructure is quite simple. If there was a more optimal subpath, then our path would not be the shortest. In the example shown, the path from E to S includes five other shortest paths. From S to J, from S to I, from J to I, from J to E, and from I to E. A shortest path can contain edges with negative weights, but we won't implement any algorithms for them in this course. We might wonder if a shortest path can contain cycles, but it's quite easy to see that this is not possible. If we have a negative weight cycle, we could just continue going around this cycle forever and get a lower and lower path weight. If we have a positive weight cycle, we would end up at the same spot if we went through the cycle, which would give us a higher path weight and thus we would no longer have found the shortest path. If we have a zero weight cycle, we see that if we traverse the cycle, we haven't changed the path weight and we wouldn't have gotten anywhere closer to the goal. So we can just skip any zero weight cycles, so our shortest path won't contain any cycles of any kind. The breadth first search algorithm we saw in the previous section finds the path with the shortest vertex count, but doesn't take path weight into account. Take this graph as an example. We want to find a path from S to E. The length of an edge is equal to the weight of the edge. Breadth first search would find the shown path, which only goes through one extra vertex, but it is clear to see that the path found is not the shortest. The shortest path goes through more vertices than the path found by breadth first search, but has a much lower path weight. This means that breadth first search and depth first search are not suited to find shortest path on weighted graphs. Instead, we need to examine all possible paths to find the one that is shortest. In this video, we define the shortest path and discuss the properties of such a path. 